Shiv. Today we are going to do Merlin Mission Book Review Part 5. So let's start. We left off at Book 14 on Episode 4. So let's start with Book 15. So just a quick uh, recap. I'm going. I'm going to read what's at the back of the book. Uh, just uh, give you a quick brief through over or what happens at the end. Then give it a rank. Then give it a rating from one to ten. So let's start with book number fifteen. Leprechaun at late wi in late winter. Jack Nanny, a whisked back to Long Ago Island to inspire a girl named Augusta Gregory to share her creativity with the world. But Augusta is the least imaginative person they've ever met. Then Jack and Annie he use a special special whistle that, that, that shows her a magical world. When their plan backfires, they must rescue their new friend. Or will Augusta be lost forever? So, though the problem is that the leprechaun, that, wait, what was that? Wait. I'm just kidding. It's the she, the she, Irish, Irish uh, folklore or myth. The she and as you can and some leprechauns, as you can see here, that's why it's called leprechaun in late winter. Right here, leprechaun, leprechaun, leprechaun. Three le leprechauns, no, only one leprechaun. Um, because the she take Augusta away and turn, and turn Augusta, wait, where did Augusta go? She was right here. Oh, no, she's the size of my finger now. Hi, Augusta. You're the size of my finger now. And because of that, uh, and, and when Jack and Annie come to ask Augusta back, they just say, the king of the she says, skunks. Weasels. And then Jack and Annie are like, "What do you mean?" And then the and then the royal family are like, "I'm going to turn you into an animal. Choose skunks or weasels. We'd rather have none, thanks." They say. And they just get Augusta out for a moment and tell her to be creative and. Have and everything and after and after that the she let let Augusta go and then she writes over 40 poems and plays. So not my favorite book. In one out of in one to ten I'd give it a six. Six means one, two, three, four, six. Okay, so we'll keep that aside. Oh, Next we're going to do a ghost tale for Christmas time. It's in my favorites but not my top favorite. It's kind of like in the top 10. So the magic rehearse whisks Jack and Annie. Why does it always whisk? Why, 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 do, why does it gently take away? Like... It does not do like that. It goes like, and and then after some minutes of spinning, it's like, like an Enderman. But an Enderman does not spin. Okay, so after that, ghost tale for Christmas time. Mm, I don't. Who's this ghost? Oh, almost. Okay, so continuing. Well, Victorian London. The magic tree was whisked 
Jack and Annie to Victorian London where they must help Charles Dickens. But the famous author had an exotic he could possibly want. Then Mr. Dickens rescues them and then they discover the sad memories that haunt them. Again, Jack, Annie and the three friendly ghosts. Oh, sir, save him from his past. <laughs> okay, so what happens in the end is that Charles Dickens tell them his past? That he was a boy who loved books. He was a poor, poor boy. Very poor. He was said to work. He, he had gone to work as a child. And, well, that's already horrifying. Ink. So, and he did not get food. But the truth is he got very, very famous. And Jack and Annie helped him say that uh, and he says, what is writing? Writing is a mere uh, 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 thing of, of paper and ink. And then Jack and Annie comfort him and say, you're writing. And Jack and Annie comfort them, him. And then that makes him realize that writing is also very important. They, the go to the past takes him back to the past. Uh, past and then goes to present shows how much people book, how much people like his books and the ghost of the future shows uh, his doom and how many people are crying mm -hmm. so in one out of time nine oh, shedding next we have crazy David Cobras Jack and Annie must find four things to save Merlin's penguin Penny. Uh, does, does that mean there's a nickel, a dime, a quarter and a dollar penguin as well? Hopefully that, uh, that penguin is, is not a penny. Hope is just names penny and it is. Uh, okay, that's strange. So, what happens in the end is... Oh, I didn't even finish reading it. So, I'm a spell. The first is a rare emerald. A scientist there to who travel back in time to India. Yay, India's has first appearance in a story. I'm an Indian. Mm. Two, over 400 years ago, 400 years ago, to discover an amazing world filled with danger and giant snakes and, and even giant elephants. The snakes about the size. It's not giant because they drink like a shrinking potion and then they're like, if, if they're like the size of my finger, then a snake is the size of my body. That's the comparison. I mean, not the size of my body, like my full arm. Like, look here. This is Jack and Annie. Normally, the positions should be swapped. The snakes will be Jack and Annie size and mm, the Jack, Jack and Annie should be the snake size. But because of the uh, shrinking portion, it's, the tables are turned. And then the elephant like... <laughs> and then there's this rock, giant trunk which appears to be the size of a snake and lifts... Uh, Live Jack and Annie. Okay, so after that, 
hard to find one now. Oh, I didn't tell you how they find, found the emerald, but... Um, because they were... What was that? Because they were... Representing Ambedazers. Ambedazers. Ambedazers, sorry. It, they, they got a chance to pick... And they gave a book as a gift. They got a chance to pick a jewel. And they got the emerald rose. Ooh, that was rare. It's a rare emerald. The, so, one out of ten, I'd give it a... Book of the day. Eighteen dogs in the dead of night. Jack and Annie travel back in time to the Icy Swift Alps to find a rare flower. A buttercup? Wait, let me just check the name. Whoopsie, I just skipped. Wait. Okay, so this is how the flowers. The flower looks like it's called a buttercup. And let me see the real name. Buttercup, yes. So, Jack and Annie travel back in time to Icy Soul Salves to find a rare flower. When they stumble upon a monastery that is home to poor monks and seen but Bernard's Annie offers to train a troublesome dog named Barry, and Barry runs away. Will they lead them to a mysterious flower or into an avalanche of trouble? So, the potion is to. Wait, what was the potion for? Hmm. Yeah, what was the potion for? I'm just kidding. The push. Sorry, what was I saying? That potion is to transform into anything that they want. Want? Aunt. So they choose to transform into St. Bernard's. And they were like, woof, 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 playing with Barry. And then they rescue a person from an avalanche. And then after all that, they find the buttercup from a monk. And they go. So one out of ten, I give it a... Wait. I'm five. Well, that's it for this video. We did books 80, 70, 60, and 15. Oopsie, I swapped them up. 16 and 15. I'll just hold that. 15, 16, holding two books in each hand. There. And 17 and 18. Like this. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Make sure to like, sub, add, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding, ding, ding.